You said your dad was a good man, mm -hmm. but alcohol changed yeah. him. Uh, how so? You know, he uh, was married five times. My mom was his first. He was an alcoholic. And when he was drinking, it was more anger. And uh, when he was not drinking, he was a fun guy. He could say some of the funniest things. And, uh, uh, and I think he was a tough guy. It was a very physical world as far as he was concerned. And uh, he had a lot of pride. And uh, there were a lot of bouts. Uh, there was a lot of physical things that went on between the two of them. An argument would escalate into some physical things, and uh, uh, the last time that he ever came into uh, our house, it was a confrontation, and uh, I told him, don't ever step in my house again. I was 14, 13 or 14 years old, and the strange thing is, even later on, when uh, when I'm married and have children, is my dad never stepped foot in any home I ever owned the rest of my life. And I think that was the reason why. And that back then was be because a warrant had been served for his arrest for back child support. I don't know payments. that he was ever served a warrant, but he was, I don't think that, I, I know that he was threatened with if you don't start paying uh, uh, child support, but. Uh, Finally, my mom just gave up, and we did our own thing. But he was a, he was a, a good-hearted man. Alcohol changed him. When he was not drinking, he was fantastic. And it's just that uh, there weren't many of those times. When you were in it back then, how would you and your sister Frances try and break it up? You know, just try to get them to stop, get it mediated, and then uh, just do what you could do. Yeah, how would you cope with it at the time? Anger myself. I would uh, yell and scream and uh, uh, try to get it stopped. And uh, uh, but it just wasn't. It just wasn't working. And my mom did the right thing. And then we just moved on. You ever looking back now wonder how those experiences impacted you later on? First thing is I really realized every time I would see a really nice home situation that made me want to make sure that I had that. It made me appreciate uh, the good family moments. And my wife, Wanda, and her family were just a completely different role model for what I wanted it to be for me later on. Did it ever scare you that given those were your experiences in your formative years that, you know, between your mom and dad splitting up, getting back together, the abuse that that, that would end up, what your life w would be later no, on? because I've, I'm probably, this is a comical thing, I'm probably the only person that's ever graduated from University of North Carolina. And I stayed here five years and got a master's degree, and I never drank a beer. I don't. I don't drink. So, I, you think because of that? Oh yeah. Oh, there's no question. I was afraid of what it did to my dad might do to me. I would just say that he probably learned how not to be a dad from him. Um, I mean, I just think that that was his biggest thing is that he just didn't want to be a dad and a husband like Papa Williams was. What did your dad uh, say to you at your mom's visitation? Oh, it was, uh, it was, it was a funny thing because we would have contact. I would call him Christmas Day and then maybe call him once a, a year other than that, try to go see him once a year, uh, but uh, that was it. And so when mom passes, we have a visitation. It's a small little uh, uh, funeral home area. He said, I only came for one reason. He said, I've only regretted one thing in my entire life. And uh, that's the way I treated your mom. And I just wanted you to know that. And then he cussed and turned around and walked out the door. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And, uh, but I appreciated that. I really did. I, that, that meant something to me. Why was it important to you to eulogize him? One of my cousins said, your dad asked me if I thought that you would speak at his funeral like you did at your mom's. And that was my dad's way of asking me to do it because he would never ask me to do it. He, had had, he would have had too much pride to do that.